Hello everyone, my name is Python GB and welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft Let's Play. This of course is the 61st episode, 61 episodes ladies and gentlemen, that is the number we're at and by god, <laughs> that's a lot of episodes my friends and that is a long amount of time spent in one single world, but I, I have still got a lot of ideas for this world my friends, so I am not planning on stopping anytime soon. There is a zombie pigman, hello, our first non-villager resident. Huh, this is kind of weird. Right, anyways, I've not been too busy since the last episode, if I'm entirely honest. But uh, I have noticed that this chicken cooker is now fully working. As you can see, we have some of these little chicken chicks inside of this cooking area. And obviously, once they grow up, lava above it will dispense and they will get killed. And as you can see, we have some cooked chicken in here, which is pretty damn awesome. And of course, we've got ourselves a little grass area. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to do a little something something with that grass area to make it look just that wee bit better. I want to make it kind of look like the overworld. Mmm, that could be pretty interesting. Right, let's grab some generic blocks out really quick. Uh, let's take it from the top chest. All right, let's have some of that. All right. And we are going to go ahead and shear, shear ourselves a bunch of leaves. Let's go do that really, really quick. All right, up we go. Might help if we had the shears equipped. All right, here we go. Yeah, this is how you do it like a pro. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Love it, love it, love everything about it. There we go. That should be a lot of leaves. Should be enough leaves for what we want to do with them, I guess. Right, okay. So, let's grab all of these up, alright, and then we shall go and do some things. Alright, let's go grab some of that, let's grab some bone meal out. I'm also going to go grab some dirt out, because if we're going to make it look like the overworld, having it completely flat wouldn't make a, a great deal of sense, I guess. So we're going to add in a little random hill, I don't know, maybe like here or something, maybe just a little sort of splodge of hill, yeah, like that kind of. Hmm, I think that could work. Right, uh, do we have any grass blocks left? That is the question. Do we have any grass blocks? Uh, nope, we used them all. God damn it. Well, okay, I guess what we're gonna have to do is wait until all of this has grown over, right? Hmm, I guess in the meantime we can go ahead and start putting in some little shrubs here and there. I don't know, make it look like the overworld again. Try and, you know, add in a little something here and there. Here we go, a little bit of that, and maybe just a little something, something and back here, like so, and then maybe we can go ahead and start bone mealing the grass as well. Alright, this should look pretty cool once finished. Alright, and actually that should be pretty much it, obviously we've got to wait for that to grass over before we go ahead and bone meal that, so that should be pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make some of these two blocks tall, just for the hell of it. Here we go, uh, maybe we'll put one there as well, boom. Yeah, there we go. So once that grass is over, we should be able to grow some, get some two block tall long grass. And yeah, this should look pretty cool. <laughs> I like it already, actually. Looks pretty snazzy. Looks pretty damn snazzy. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple of little mini house designs that I've come up with on my creative world. And some of you guys may recognize this creative world if we go on here really quick. It is actually my plot buster's world, but I've been doubling it up and using it as a... Uh, a regular creative world. That's probably not the best idea in the world. I should probably go ahead and separate these somehow. Right, but anyways, these are the little mini house designs that I have come up with. They are made out of the uh, the prismarine related blocks. We have dark prismarine bricks, regular prismarine bricks, and of course uh, the uh, the regular prismarine as the floors, uh, as you can see here. It looks pretty cool. And we have cyan glass as well. And we're not only going to use cyan glass in these builds. We're going to use a, a variety of different colours, mostly the blue shades, you know, light blue, regular blue, cyan, you know, those, those three those three main ones but yeah these are the houses we're going to be attempting to make in survival mode on our world of survival yeah yeah python did a good job of remembering what his world is <laughs> right now okay, kimakadogi all is looking well okay so let's go ahead and put these away we're going to grab ourselves a bunch of prismarine related blocks oh actually one of the things i didn't incorporate on the creative world was uh, sea lanterns Hmm, that could be pretty interesting. We need to do that. We need to incorporate them. Otherwise, I'm going to get mad. And I don't want to be mad. I don't have a lot of dark prismary, do I? Hmm, this could be an issue, potentially. Right, okay, let's have a look and see how the glass is doing. I've actually got some more smelting. Uh, that's a pretty nice amount right there. But I guess what we could start doing is basically going ahead and potentially starting to make some houses. Now, this is not going to be the area where I'll make the houses because obviously we don't have a great deal of roof space or height in this area. So we're going to do it in this main area over here. Start making ourselves some cool things. So let me go ahead 
and grab myself the relevant tools. Okay, this should be pretty interesting. We're just going to extend the pathway outwards, and we're going to start building the buildings on either side of the path, I guess. Yeah, that's going to be something awesome, isn't it? <laughs> I am looking forward to it so much. Oh, yeah. Right, okay, so let's grab these out, and let's start to, uh, let's start placing these in, I guess. And I tell you what, guys, because this is going to be a bit of a uh, repetitive procedure, I'm going to skip ahead until we're ready to start building the first awesome mini house of awesomeness. Yes, I'm good at naming things. Don't worry your faces. It is all good. <laughs> Alright guys, back in a mo. Alright guys, I've got some more of the pathway completed. And as you can see, we have some sections going on here. We've got this large section here. This is going to be for more functional buildings. So as you can see, we've already got a functional building right here. This of course being the chicken cooker. And we're going to have things like enchanting houses and maybe storage facilities and such and so. And stuff like that. And that sentence didn't make a great deal of sense. But anyways, we are going to be trying to make two houses inside of this small space right here. And the reason why we're going to try and make two small houses is because maybe... A good idea would be to have the villagers just roam freely in this entire thing. Maybe we don't have to restrict them to this area. I mean, yeah, we'll have some behind the bars, you know. Yeah, maybe the good ones for security's sake. But maybe we could just have some generic villagers roaming around this entire empire. That could be pretty cool. Kingdom, I mean, Neptune's empire having a proper population of people. That would be amazing. It really would be. So, I guess without further ado, it is time to start constructing our first house. This is going to be pretty interesting, my friends. Now, the buildings themselves are largely made out of these dark prismarine and prismarine bricks. And of course, we are, of course, uh, you know, in implementing these bits of glass in here as well. And speaking of which, let's go ahead and quickly make ourselves some more cyan. That should be pretty good. All right, let's do a little bit of that. Boom. There we go. Nice half stack right there. And a bunch more of that. There we go. Uh, right. Do we have light blue? Hmm. All right. We can make some. A light blue. Give me light blue. All right. Let's do this thing. Let's chuck that in. Hold on. Let's get this split going perfectly. There we go. <laughs> Oh dear, there we go. We have a nice surplus of glass right now. I am a very, very happy bunny. Right, okay. I guess it is time to do this thing. Let's see if we can replicate the houses we add on our creative world. That would be awesome. So... Should I get a quick refresher? I feel like I should do that. Quick refresher, my friends. Quick refresher. Come on. Come on! Memorize the buildings, Python. Memorize the buildings. Alright, so the fronts of them. Okay, so they're pretty much five blocks wide with these little roof things on top of them. And now I don't want all of the houses to be exactly the same size, which is why I went ahead and designed two houses, which is pretty cool. So yeah, pretty much the outsides are made out of dark prismarine. And then we got the pretty much the other bits of prismarine around the edge. So yeah, that should be pretty easy to replicate. Let's go ahead and do that, shall we? I like how we're just switching between worlds, even though this uh this LP is called Python Plays Minecraft, not Python hops in between his worlds. <laughs> right. Okay, let's do this thing, my friends. Okie dokie. This shouldn't be too difficult, right? Shouldn't be too difficult to replicate designs. Alright, so this is how one of the designs went. We had these little side bits right here. We had these right here, like so. And uh, let's do this. Alright, and then we've got some glass in the mix. So, boom. Boom. Let's chuck these in like so. Boom, 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 boom. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing. All oh, the building. I love building. I, I don't know about you guys. I just love building. I fit, I'd like to say I'm getting better. At it. Now, obviously, I'm not going to say that I'm better at it because obviously that's really for you guys and pretty much everyone else to decide, not myself. So, yeah, but I, I'd like to say I'm getting okay at building. You know what I mean? I mean, I've been playing this game for, what, four and a half years now? Four and a half years playing one game, guys. Damn! That's a lot of time, isn't it? That really is. <laughs> what have I been doing with my life? Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm making YouTube videos. Hey, It's all good. All good. All right. Okay, here we go. And let's just uh, let's try and get this design replicated. Yep, there is definitely space for a second house. I'm pretty sure this is the, uh, the larger design of the two that we had on our creative world. So that is pretty cool right there. All right. And then maybe we could just go ahead and uh, smooth off the old roof. There we go. All should be good. I am running low on blocks, unfortunately. I'm going to have to go and grab some more out. Am I not? All right. Boom. Boom. Uh, got a little bit more here, but oh well. <laughs> Definitely ran out. All right. Let's get this thing going. Okay. Let's grab some more of these things. Okay. Do, 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 do. There, 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 and there. Right. Okay. See, look, this house is coming along pretty nicely, isn't it? 
pretty nicely indeed. All right, does that work? Hmm, I'd like to say that works. Okay, in which case, let's go ahead and put ourselves a sea lantern in here, just for the, uh, just for the purposes of lighting the place up. All right, and then obviously we're going to have ourselves a little entrance thingamadoohickey. Okay, boom, boom, uh, we've got these things going here. Boom, boom, and then obviously a door goes there, and yeah, pretty much all should be good. So that's the first little house, my friends. It's so cute. It's a cute build. I can't believe I'm saying that a building's cute. That's just, like, wrong. That, that's that's just against everything in Minecraft. Minecraft isn't cute. Nothing in Minecraft is cute. Well, maybe bunnies. Well, and and baby animals. Well, ugh, there's, there's plenty of things that are cute, okay? I'm, I'm just going to say that. Right. Okay, so, now we need to do the other building. How are we going to do this? Hmm, maybe I could do it in a different orientation. Maybe we could have the pathway going in here, like, shrink it down to, like, a one-block-wide pathway, and then have the house, like, nestled in here. Huh. That could be pretty cool. That could be pretty cool. Right, okay, in which case, let's try and figure this out. So, the building would, in fact, go here. So, boom, boom. One, two, three, four, boom, boom. So maybe this is going to be a double door house. Whoa! Oh, it's just a bunch of guys being jerk bags. Oh, they're trying to scare me, and they are succeeding. Right. Okay. Hmm. How is this going to work? Because it might get. Uh, I don't know. It might get in the way of this thing here, won't it? Hmm. I don't know if I like it or not. I don't know if I like it. We, we shall see. There. We'll build it, and we'll see how we feel. I guess. Right. Okay, boom. Uh, let's use a different color glass. We're going to go with uh, regular blue gas. Gas? What the hell is gas? <laughs> regular blue gas. Yes. GG's Python. You are very good at commentating. Good sir. Right. Okay. Boom. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Alright. That's all good. Sweet. It's like a little alleyway, isn't it? I like it. <laughs> it's like we have a little alleyway in here. This is, this is perfect. I mean, I, who knew that making very small buildings in Minecraft could be such fun? I'm actually having a lot of fun doing this right now. <laughs> it's not often I do building on camera, as you guys well know, because, you know, I tend to rage when I build, but, uh, you know what? I like this. I like this a lot. Alright, let's get up on top of here. I think it'll be easy if we just do it from the roof. Yep, definitely. Okay, let's get over this side. Hoi! There we go. Bit of the old parkour for you dudes. Okay. Sweet. Okay, maybe we can make this roof go one block taller. Just for the purposes of, you know, making the houses look all different to each other. Okay. Do -do 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 -do. Alright, and let's go back inside. We are almost done with this little building right here. We need some more bricks, unfortunately. Right. Okay, and once we've done this, uh, we shall probably move on to something else, my friends. Right. Boom and boom. I should do the job. Yeah. Right. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, that's going to go like that. I'm going to have that going there, that going there. I'll have that going over the top like so. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Looking good. Alright, and once again with the sea lanterns, let's go ahead and light this place up. Alright, and yeah, that's pretty good. I'm liking it. We've got, we've got two little houses in this space right here. I'm going to put the little alleyway pathway thing in here. And we all should be pretty much good to go with these two little houses right here. I'm very, very happy with it. I'm very happy with it, in fact. Hopefully you guys have, uh, I don't know. Hopefully you guys like it. You know, very small designs for houses. I think they're pretty cool, but obviously that's for you guys to decide. So, let me go ahead and finish off doing the old maintenance and such around here. And I'll meet you guys back very, very shortly. Alright guys, I am currently in the process of getting some obsidian. Now the reason why I'm getting some obsidian is so we can make ourselves an enchanting table so we can eventually get ourselves the old enchanting house going back up at Neptune's Empire. So let's go ahead and uh, head back up because we now have four bits of obsidian, which is awesome. There we go, we still have the secret cave system like, like, pathway type thing. We need to make, like, an official entrance for this mine, because obviously it is very useful. There's still a bunch of ores that we could go ahead and grab from there, and obviously we could go ahead and do, do all kinds of other things as well. And, uh, yeah, all should be good. Right, now, it looks like this place is fully grassed over, so let's go ahead and put some bone meal on here. There we go, and once again, I'm just going to go ahead and make some of these two blocks tall, and let's see how it looks from a distance. Oh, yeah! That looks pretty damn snazzy. I am liking that. Right, uh, maybe we could have like a sea lantern like randomly chucked in there somewhere. Maybe right here. And then maybe we could put... Do you know what? That looks... 
That looks all right. The, the long grass kind of covers that up pretty nicely. Maybe we don't even need to put a cover on top of that. I think that looks pretty good because obviously, you know, this is meant to look like the overworld, but at the same time, it kind of still has the theme of it being inside of an ocean monument. So, do you know what? I'm a fan of that. I like it. I like it. We do want to get rid of the torches though. So, let's go ahead and do that. I really don't want to have too many torches in this, uh, in this empire because I feel like they might spoil it a bit. Maybe. Alright, there we go. Uh, can anybody spawn here? I don't believe they will be able to. Uh, they could spawn on these dark prismarine blocks, but they can't spawn anywhere else. Alright, cool. I like that. I like it a lot. Right, okay. Let's go ahead and get this thing rolling, friendos. Right, I should probably put like a torch on top of it so we know where it is. There we go. Good stuff. Right, let's go ahead and clear out real quick. Uh, don't need glass because it's just going to be like a bookshelf type building, isn't it, really? Uh, nothing really special required. Right, okay, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and we are going to make ourselves a little enchanting house. And I guess while we're doing this, ladies and gentlemen, we can actually jump into the question of the video for today. And it comes from a user by the name of Enona Namus. And it is, what is your least favorite hostile mob in Minecraft? My least favorite hostile mob. Ooh, I think that would have to be witches. I honestly think that would have to be witches. The reasons, of course, are pretty obvious, let's be honest. Pretty obvious reasons, because firstly, it, you, you can't punch them to death. You just can't, because they keep regenerating. And also, their poison is so, so annoying. I don't know if you guys have ever been poisoned by witches in Minecraft, but oh my god, they are such a pain in the batuki. They're really annoying. <laughs> Uh, and it doesn't exactly help matters that uh, the poison itself lasts for like, what, 30 seconds? So, you'll almost certainly get down to like, half a heart, or a very low amount of health anyway. So, yeah. Kind of annoying. Kind of annoying. Right, what am I doing here? Uh, we've got books, we have obsidian and diamonds, we should be able to do this thing. Let's rock this joint with an enchanting table. Boom! There we go. Now we can enchant inside this place. Awesome! This is a very, very basic build as well. <laughs> Very basic indeed. In fact, I'm going to do the old uh, put a light source underneath it trick. Boom, boom. There we go. All lit up like a true professional. Right, and I'll tell you what, let's just chuck that in there. Just for the sake of it looking cool. Yeah, that works. That works. Okay, now of course let's go ahead and put the old uh, stone in here as well. Boom, and do it. should I put a door here? Would that be worth it? Hmm. No idea. Alright, let's just check if we can get 30 levels. We can indeed. Ooh, Fortune 3. Hmm. hmm. I may go ahead and do that at some point. I may go ahead and do that. I think that'd be a cool idea. But yeah, look at this. We've got ourselves a little sort of... I don't know. I don't know what to call this. Like a little functioning area. I mean, we've got all of this space here as well. We can make some, like, redstone contraptions, maybe. If I decide to do redstone again. I mean, last time I did redstone was with the chicken cooker. And, uh... I failed many, many times before I got it right. But then again, I guess that's kind of the spirit of learning in Minecraft. You make mistakes, you move on, you learn things. Hmm. Right. Okay. But yeah, this is all looking good. Look at the uh, look at the differences I've made over here as well. We've got the old pathway going in this little alleyway right here. Looking pretty good. We've got little sea lanterns up in these corners just to light the place up a bit. And uh, yeah, generally speaking, I, I am a big fan of what we've done today so far. <laughs> Very big fan indeed. Right. I'll tell you what, guys. I'm going to think of one more thing to build in this episode. And I'll bring you guys back once we are ready to do it. Alright guys, I think the next building I'm going to make is in fact going to be the building that will eventually lead down into the mines right here. So I guess without further ado, it is time to start constructing ourselves a new house. Oh yeah, there's going to be so many buildings in this episode, it's going to be absolutely ridiculous. Right, now, how many entrances? I'm thinking just the one. Right, okay. Uh, one, two, uh, hmm, sure think. Because obviously, we're going to pick up a lot of stone from the mines and uh, stuff like that. So I imagine this could double up as like a stone storage of some sorts. So I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. Um, hmm. So obviously, that's there. Uh, we're going to have these like corner blocks right here. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's go and put something like that and that. So we could have like storage, uh, double chest, double chest, uh, double chest again. And then this could potentially be the doorway with a single door. And then we could do this. We could put that right there, that right there. Hmm. <laughs> I like how I'm just chucking things together and uh, somehow they seem to be working. I'd like to say they're working. 
But again, that's not really up to me. All right. Oh, crap. crap. Wrong block. Wrong block. Wrong block, Python. Why you do this? All right. And I guess what we're doing this, I can actually give my question of the video to you guys. I'm just going to pass it on. What is your least favourite hostile mob in Minecraft? Leave your responses in the comments area below. And also, while you're down there, be sure to leave your question of the video uh, responses or suggestions in the comments area below. And you will, of course, have a chance of yours being used and your name shouted out. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> should be pretty awesome for you guys. Right, okay, so let's get these things rocking, like so. There we go, all is looking good. Uh, I'm going to need some more of these dark prismarine blocks. Mm, I'm going to need to make some, aren't I, at some point, because this is actually my last stack, which is unfortunate, because I really like these blocks. They're very, very nice indeed. Very, very nice. Right. Boom. Boom. And a boom. And a boom. And one boom there. And that goes there. Uh, that goes there. That goes there. I left this one out for a reason. Maybe we could put, like, an item frame in there just to signify that there's a mine there or something. I think that would be pretty cool. Right, okay, so this is going to be the roof. So, there we go. Let's do this thing. Good old little mini roof like you do. Alright, okay. Uh, actually, maybe I could do it the other way. Hmm. Python is thinking of doing it the other way. Yeah, I think that's a cool idea. Alright, we're going to do the roof the other way. We're going to make it go sort of up like here instead of the other way around. Because otherwise that would be quite big, I guess. <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Right. Okay, this shouldn't be too difficult. We should be able to do this all on camera, my friends, without too many troubles. Okay, let's just keep going all the way around like so. Need some more bricks. Luckily, we have some honors, which is very, very cool indeed. Okay, all right, let's just go inside, make sure it all looks, uh, all looks good. It does indeed. Okay, once again, let's just pop up here really quick and let's start placing these things in, I guess. There we go. <laughs> I love the buildings. I love these buildings. They're really, really cool, aren't they? I like them. Alright, okay. And should we do it one high? Yeah, I think we should do it one high. There we go. Otherwise, I don't think it will make a great deal of sense in terms of uh, design. Okay. Let's get this thing going. We'll put the chests in and maybe the door. And then we should probably call the episode good. Because we have done a lot of building today, my friends. Our empire has taken quite a, quite a hit in terms of progress. As in, in a good way. In a good way. Not in a bad way. All progress is good progress, my friends. <laughs> Never get that confused with me. Dear, oh dear. Right. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, crap. I'm going to run out of glass. Oh, dear. That's actually kind of bad. I, I need the glass. I need loads of glass. All right. Boom, 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 boom. Glass, 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 glass. Uh, that's all good already because obviously the roof is like there. Right, I'm thinking of putting this right here. There we go, that'll provide light for the inside. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm also going to go ahead and grab some flower pots eventually to put in here, you know, because I think that'll look pretty cool. And yeah, all should be good apart from that. So let's go ahead and uh, make ourselves a bunch of wood, make ourselves a bunch of chests, and then... We shall call the episode good there, because, like I said, done a nice amount. Okay, and let's just see if we've got any doors. Pretty sure we have got some doors. There we go, regular doors. That'll do the job real, real nicely. Okay, so, you go in there. We're going to need a slab going up to there, so obviously people know they can go in. And, yeah. Ho oh, ho! It's so good! Stone storage galore! And then, obviously, we'll be able to go down into the mines from here. There we go, the old stairs are right there. So, uh, maybe we can make ourselves some trapdoors as well. Come on, I want to get this thing properly finished. Right, okay. Trapdoors, there we go. And obviously, maybe some ladders. Okay. Don't want to do a half assed job. I want to get this thing properly finished. There we go. Right, so let's just head inside. Let's place these ladders right down here. And place this right here as well. And, oh, that's the wrong way. That is the wrong way. Damn it. That is also the wrong way. <laughs> Double damn it. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Sweet. All right, so that will be the official way down into the mine. And then, obviously, we've got all this storage right here as well. And I'll tell you what, just uh, a couple finishing touches here and there. We'll put some lighting around here. And we'll put one maybe up here. There we go. One, two, three, 
four, five. There we go. All right, guys. I think that's going to wrap it up for today's episode, then, my friends. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the episode and, of course, you're excited to see more, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And, of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. Oh, man, this place is looking awesome now. You can also see I've put some grass down again with some double tall long grass. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> this, uh, this empire is really starting to get somewhere, isn't it? really starting to get somewhere. Obviously, we've still got a lot of space to fill, so by all means, leave your suggestions for things to build in the comments area below, and who knows, you might get your things built. But yeah, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did, I think I'm pretty sure I've already done the outro, but yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed. Hit that thumbs up button if you did enjoy, and yeah, that'll pretty much wrap it up. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.